Hey you guys, um, I just wanted to say hi, and um, if you can't tell, the background's really different. I'm in, um, I'm in a hotel, I'm shooting something um, in Arizona for a few days, so I'm staying here um, for the commercial shoot, and this is my room, and I'm really bored, um, and I wanted to do an update video, slash kind of like a review video for you guys, because I haven't done one in a long, long time. Um, but, yeah, I'm just really, really bored, and, um, I wanted to update what happened. Like, last week, I had a bunch of empty MAC containers because I had depotted a bunch of my MAC blushes, and so I put them all in here, and I had some, like, the empty containers I had left. Well, the rumor, you know, it's like, do they accept, does MAC accept the depotted um, blushes? I'm like out of it right now. Does MAC accept the depotted blushes or not? So I wasn't completely sure, but um, I had like old lip glosses I didn't want, um, an eyeshadow I got in a swap that was like five or six years old, it was gross. And then like all those empty containers. So I called my local Macy's and um, at first they were like, what are you talking about? And I was like, do you accept a potted Mac? And this lady was like, I've worked for a Mac for nine years. I have no idea what you're talking about. So she puts me on hold and then she's like, oh yeah, yeah, we do. We'll take, um, we'll take your, your empties. So I was like, okay. So I raced down there with all my empties, including like old lip gloss and stuff. And then as soon as I get there, she's like, you called, right? And I was like, yeah, I called. And she's like, yeah, because I just found out that we don't take the depotted MAC blushes, but because we already told you yes, we'll do it. And I was like, so wait. So I got um, two new lipsticks, and I'm wearing one right now. Um, the other one I really like, but as soon as I put it on on camera, it looked really washed out. So I think it's just going to be one of those colors um, that I have to be really, it's a really, really nude and but I I've, I've loved it since I've been wearing it it's just coming off really weird on camera but the one I'm wearing right now is um, one that I got in the back to Mac so for every six empties that you return to Mac um, now a Mac store will let you get an eyeshadow or a lipstick and a Mac counter will only let you get a lipstick and because I had 12 items I got two lipsticks um, the first one I got was an Amplified, and it's half and half. Okay. This is what I'm wearing, and I love it. It's a really pretty, like, pinky nude. And it's really, really creamy. It kind of looks like all the others that I have, like my Jubilee and my Velvet Teddy, but um, I'm wearing it right now and it's really pretty it's easy to wear and wow I look really tired I look beep anyway um whatever um so I really like it and I actually haven't been wearing it much because I fell in love with the other lipstick and the other one is oh well just for reference here's Jubilee which I, I also love I've been wearing that for a really long time and this is a really really pretty luster it's got a little bit more pink versus the um, half and half has a little bit more mocha in it. But I've, I started with Velvet Teddy and then I went to Jubilee and then I went to um, half and half. And then, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry I'm getting over a cold. Um, this one is also a luster and this has become my favorite but um, like I said when I put it on just now it looked really washed out on camera. But it's um, Freckle Tone and I love it. It's um, I'm like putting a fat like little curve in it already. Ah. So there it is. And it's very, it's a lot lighter. <clears throat> it has a lot more peach in it and a lot more yellow. <clears throat> so I think what's happening is um, I'm taking the pigment completely out of my lips and I'm not even, like with the half and half, I'm not really even putting, Freckle Tone doesn't put much more of a complementary color, um, rosy or of life type color so it's coming off very nude on camera but I love freckle tone I love the way it comes off 
and but I'm looking now and I'm like mm, I really like half and half too now my reviews on lusters are I absolutely love them amplified cream I think these are is that what it is amplified cream what do you believe it's the luster they it feels really good on my lips it feels really moisturizing the luster is a little bit more sheer and I don't mind it so much I just feel like um, talking and eating will cause it to like get weird on me but I go away really fast but it doesn't really matter because I put a lip gloss over it now lip glosses um, when I went to Mac most recently I picked up when I got my lipstick I picked up this lip gloss that I'm wearing and I like it it's really pretty and it's this it's um Max Cream Sheen Glass, because I love Cream Sheen Glasses, and this is in Delight. Oh, can you see that? There we go, Delight. So this goes perfectly with like a nude, if you can't tell. And it's really shiny and it's really moisturizing. I really like it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to do like a quick review on that um oh i'll be moving too on saturday so i won't have internet for a while or cable so um it'll be probably a couple maybe like a week or two but until i can get another video up but i do read your comments i do have reviews um i've been getting a lot of people asking about my hair and which is really funny because my hair is my most like my biggest insecurity. Um, it's I haven't cut it in a really long time. I've been trying to grow it out. So um, thanks everyone for the request. And it's one of those things where the requests get so overwhelming that you're like, I have to do it because then I'm blatantly like ignoring the request if I don't do it. So I'm gonna try and do like a video where I talk about like how I do my hair. It's full of hairspray right now. I can't even get my fingers through it, but I kind of like it because I always really liked like dirty hair and beachy hair so I like it but it's not always like this um so I'll try and get that out but it's just so hard because you have to like put your camera somewhere where you can focus and then like not burn yourself and you know right like even right now like my left is my right and my right is my left so um so anyway I think that's it um I look like a drag queen because my makeup's really heavy because uh, if you guys don't know like sometimes when they do camera work they put you in really heavy makeup so it comes off on camera it picks it up so for the most part like I would never wear makeup this heavy but um, it's just the way it goes um, side notes oh I got a new bag and I love it and it's so summer and I love it hold on let me get it I love it I love it I love it hold on Okay, so I got this bag, and it's, okay, first of all, it's pink and it's orange, and it's unlike any other bag I've ever had, and that's why I bought it, and it's a coach bag, and it's like a tote, and it's, I love it, I love it, you can hate it all you want to, but I absolutely love it, and um, it's almost like ghetto fabulous, I don't know, I just love it, and it's really big, and I've got like all my crap in there. And it's pink on the inside. So I'm really happy with it. I love it. Um, okay, anything else? I'm at like nine minutes, so I should be going soon. Um, no, that's it. Um, I'm doing okay with the mineralized satin finish. I really like it so far. Um, no big breakouts. A huge fatty bubble so far in there. You guys can see that. No breakouts, no pore cloggage, nothing. Um, still love my Mac Big Baby. Mwah, I love that. And my personal blush favorite right now is Margin by MAC, which is this one right there. It is the perfect highlight. Melba is dying right there. I still like Gingerly, but Melba right here is just a great highlight, a great barely there blush. Really, really happy with it. Um, I miss you guys, and I miss home. I'm getting homesick. Um, that's about it. So take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.